Hey guys, today's video is going to be about a very new exciting product. This is the Lorac Pro 3 palette and if you want to see more about this palette then just keep watching. Alright, so first things first, I was able to order mine off of Ulta.com. They had a Platinum Perk preview day, um, so it was an email that was sent out to all their Platinum members so they could go ahead and order it for just that day. It will be back online on June 12th and it'll be in stores on June 26th, so just keep an eye out on those dates online and at your local Ulta so you can pick this up if you're interested. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's the exact same that the first and second palette were. Um, I really like that they have an image of the um, palette itself on the back because you can really tell what the um, eyeshadows look like through this picture. Just like the other ones, you also get this um, little eye primer. This is the behind the scenes eye primer. Um, it's just an eyeshadow base, very similar to the um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance or the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow potion primer. All right, so for the super exciting part, this is what the palette looks like. Um, from what I can tell, the first one was a very warm tone palette, the second one was a very cool tone palette, and this one is just beautiful kind of blush neutrals, um, and I wouldn't even say blush so much, except for there's just like a little bit more of a pinky purple um, leniency with some of these shadows. This is what the palette looks like. You get all matte shades on the top, all shimmer shades on the bottom, just like the other palettes. I used just this palette for my eye look I'm wearing today. I used the shade Pink Nude the shade Rose Bronze, and then I went in with Amethyst, and then I used Jet Black to darken it up, I'm sorry, Jet Black to darken it up, and then I used um, Light Gold to use as a highlighter. This palette really has a great variety of shades. I can see getting a lot of looks out of this. I think it'll be a very travel-friendly um, palette because it is so slim. The only complaint I really have for the packaging is the color of it. I've already, you know, I've only used it twice, and I've already gotten some smudges and darker, um, on it just because it's such a light color and it's that kind of suede feeling that really picks up all the dirt. Alright, so to get into swatches, which is the best part about palettes. Alright, so starting with the matte row, we have Blanc, Canvas, Cool Taupe, and Pink Nude. You can see Canvas and Pink Nude are very similar. Um, pink Nude is just a little bit more pink and a little darker. Alright, the next set of four on that row are Clay, Terracotta, which is a personal favorite of mine. It's just kind of like a more um, toned down version of either Makeup Geek Desert Sands or uh, MAC uh, Uninterrupted. Then you also have Dark Brown and Jet Black, which are great for um, darkening up looks or for using as an eyeliner. All right, now on the bottom row, we have Light Gold, which is a beautiful highlighting champagne shade. We then have Almond Pearl, which is just a little bit more kind of a pinky taupe version. Then Medallion, this is probably the chalkiest one in the palette. It's still very great pigmentation and great um, quality, but it's not quite as good as the others. And then this one is like Peter, which is just a beautiful um, kind of taupey Peter color. Now for the last four on the bottom row, we have Amethyst, which is just this beautiful purple that has kind of a burgundy to it. And then we have Rose Bronze, which is a beautiful, um, it's like a taupe, but it has a really pretty rosiness to it. It's what I used on my lid today. We then have a Dark Mocha, which is a very um, pretty kind of brownie purple. Um, all of these have a bit of a purple to them. And then you have Truffle, which is just kind of like a dark gray with a hint of purple to it. So I pulled out my older Lorac palettes just to kind of show you as comparison. Um, so here is the Lorac one. This is the original. And it has very warm, very rich kind of jewel tone um, shades, especially kind of on this end. Um, and it's very kind of gold, um, pretty gold similar highlights that are kind of in all of them um, and this kind of has that kind of purpley pewter theme going through it similar to how this one is. So I'd say these two palettes are probably the most similar um, but I still think this one is very different. This one is much more everyday light toned where I think this one gives you more of those smoky dramatic looks. So we have the Pro 2 and this one also leans to that kind of purpley rosy side kind of on the lighter end um, but it has a lot of fun colors off on the this end right here. Um, this is a very fun palette, but it's really hard for me to get a full look out of it a lot of times just because it doesn't have, um, I don't know, it's just a little hard to get a full look. It doesn't have a basic brown that's kind of more in the medium tone, um, but it is a very beautiful palette. So, whereas this one, I think, has a better um, range of colors. It's all very nude, and there's no bright kind of pops of color like there are in the original or the second one. As far as which one you should get if you have no Lorac palettes and you've really been wanting to try one, I definitely think the original is the best way to go. There's just so much more versatility and different looks, and it's just a great basic original eyeshadow palette. Um, the colors in it are just outstanding, 
and the quality throughout all of them is great, but I really like this one. Next up, I would say this one. Um, unless you're more of kind of an everyday person, I would say go ahead and just get this one first because the original one is a little bit more dark and um, dramatic. Um, but this one, I really like how easy it is to get a look from the entire palette and there's much more versatility in the shades that are offered. This one in third place, but it's still such a good palette. Really, the formula of these Lorac Pro palettes is just amazing. I wouldn't, um, I've never had an unzip palette. I've swatched them in store. Um, they're beautiful, but I just think the pros are just where it's at. I have both the Mega Pros, um, and I really don't reach for them as much as I would like to say that I do because they're so huge. I just think these original 1, 2, and 3s are the best way to go with Lorac. All right, well, that is all I have to say about this new palette. I know this is going to be up on my vanity. I'm going to be using it all the time. I just think it's such a great, easy, everyday, versatile palette. I mean, the colors in here are just beautiful. The quality is outstanding. And I really like that you can go for either like a really traditional nude or you can kind of lean towards those more kind of taupey mauves as well. Um, so yeah, that is everything I have to say about this new palette. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you. And if you want to see more videos from me, then just don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.